if you wanted to put them down in the middle, please don't put them back in the same pile. Secondly, uh, we're just glad everyone is here. We have to wear our masks as much as possible. Please refrain from hugging anyone that you're not currently potting with because that creates incredible uh, problems when it comes to COVID. And uh, we will have to be behind these screens. We're gonna try to use this as little contact as possible, but also still try to celebrate together. So that's the most important thing is that we're here to celebrate with Henry and with this wonderful community. So uh, Kenner Baron, why don't we go ahead and get started? Henry, yeah, you can take your mask off. I'm gonna be over here. He's gonna be over there and you're gonna be over there. Okay, and we're gonna begin with a few opening songs. Hevenu shalom aleichem. Hevenu shalom aleichem. Hevenu shalom aleichem. Hevenu shalom, shalom, shalom aleichem. Hevenu shalom aleichem. Clapping is okay, by the way. Hevenu shalom. Shalom Aleichem, now you're not supposed to sing it you can sort of form the word beneath the mask Hallelujah, 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 praise God. Hallelujah, 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 what happened to the clapping? Hallelujah, 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 Shalom, everyone. We're going to begin our service on page 65 with the morning blessings, the blessings that wake us up. Um, I ask you if you're comfortable to please rise while Kenner Baron leads us on page 65. <laughs> Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shasani B'Tzalmo Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shasani Yisrael Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shasani Ben Chorin Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hokeach Ivrim Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Malbi Sharumim Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Matir Atsurim Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Zokaif Kefufim Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Rokah Haaretz Al Hamayim Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sheasa Li Kol Tzorki Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Amechin Mitzadei Gaver Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Ozer Yisrael Bigvura Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Oter Yisrael Betifara Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hanoten Layahev Koach 
Uturnenu hayom of holyom, lechenul chesed, ul rachamim beinecha, ubeinecho roenu, betigmalenu chazarim tovim, baruchata ronai, gomel chazarim tovim, leamo Yisrael. We remain standing as we turn to page 83 for Baruch Amar. Baruch Shamar Vihaya Haolam Baruchu Baruchu Sabreshit Baruchu Merviose Baruch Gozerum Kayem Baruch Merachem Al Haaretz Baruch Merachem Al Habriot Baruch Mishalem Sakhar Tom Lirayal Baruch Laad Vikayam Lanetzach Baruch Bodeho Matzil Baruch Shemo. You may be seated. We turn to page 96 as Henry leads us in the words of Ashrei. Ashrei Yoshvei Vechecha. Can you guys hear Henry? Okay, let's make sure the mic. I'm going to make it a little closer. The mic is always on. Yeah. Hunter, are these, are these mics working? Henry, test your mic. Right into the mic. Valigdolato in Hecker, Dor the Dor Shabbat Maasecha, Ugurotecha Yagidu, a dark boat hodecha, but if rainy flow techa asicha, the Azuz Norotecha Yomeru, Ugdulatha asaprena, Zecherav Tucha Yabiu, Betit Hatacha Yera Nenu, Kanun Rahum Aronai, Erecha Pain Ugdol Hased, Tovan and Lila Ko. Barahamav al Koma Asa, Yoduha Adonai Koma Asecha, Bahasi Decha Yebarhuha, Kabod Mahutha Yomeru, Ugrotacha Yedaberu, Lehodia Ligne Ha Adam Gavurota, Ubod Hadar Mahuto, Mahutha Mahut Kol Olamim, Umem Shaltaha Beholdor, Vador, So me Adonai the Holhano Flim, Bezo Kef the Holhaku Pim. A nehole leha yesa beru, beatan no tain lechem, et ochlam be ito, potea hetia deha, umasia la pohai rason, sadik aronai behold derahav, bea seed behoma asav, karovan and I'm the hokorav, the hola sherry garu behemet, retsonier av ya ase. The et shavatam yishma ve oshiem. So merad and I echo the wava. The echo harshaim yashmid. The lot of the naid up there, pi. If I reckon basar shin kochot leolam, but. Ranah no never echia. Mea tave adolam. Hallelujah. We turn to page 100 for the final psalm of the book of Psalms, Psalm 150. Kul haneshama te hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Kul haneshama te hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Kul haneshama te hallelujah, hallelujah. We continue on page 104, the beginning of Shacharit Nishmat Kohat. Nishimat kol chai tivarech at shimcha Eloheinu. Nishimat 
David ben Yishai Avdecha Mishichecha Yishtabach Shimecha Lahad Malkeinu We're on page 106. Berachot vehonaot meata v'yadolam Baruch atah Adonai El melek adol batishvachot El hahonaot adon haniflaot Habocher mshirei zimera Melech el chea olamim, yit kadal ve yit kadash merabam. Be almad imrak yurutev yam nich malchute, be chayechon of yom echon of chayene chol beit Yisrael, bagalav vizman karib imru amen, yehesh merabam evorach. Before we go to Baruchu, which is the official beginning of the morning service, we call for Jane and Scott to share a few words and to uh, give Henry his telly. Henry, I am so overwhelmed with joy and love for you as I watch you today on the Bima, becoming a bar mitzvah. And I have been so proud as I've watched you study and engage and prepare and question, not only for this day, but for your transition towards becoming a responsible, caring adult. 17 years ago, I decided to explore what it would mean to live a Jewish life. I read a lot of books about Judaism, and in a very short period of time, I recognized my own Jewish soul. I could so clearly envision how the beautiful Jewish traditions that I read about would help me teach the values that I'd already committed my life to as a social worker, as a vegetarian, as a doctoral student and scholar, and as a person deeply committed to family and community, to the children that I hoped that daddy and I would have one day. As we stand here today, I can see the ways that you have adopted these very same values as your own, in some ways that I hope we have taught you, but mostly in your own truly unique ways. First, in the laws of Kashrut, I saw a religion that required us to think about what we ate, to think about how the animal was treated, whether it was raised and killed in a humane way. They encouraged us to think about animals, to treat them well, and to carefully consider everything we ingest into our sacred bodies. As a vegetarian, that spoke to me deeply. I have watched you grow from asking at what age would I let you try bacon to considering on your own eating more plant-based food because of the impact on the environment and teaching me new things like that YouTube video of Bill Gates and the Impossible Burger. I hope that you will always think about the impact of your actions, that you find your own way of being kosher by thinking about the impact of the food you eat, the restaurants you support, the clothes you wear and the things that you buy and how that affects animals, people, and the earth. Second, scholarship and questioning. In Judaism, learning is valued and questioning is encouraged. There is never just one way to interpret anything, whether it's a verse in the Torah or the best way to braid a challah. 
And as Ruth Bader Ginsburg taught us, sometimes the dissent is the most important statement about the law. You have always been a gentle questioner. Although you've obeyed our rules about what you can eat or, what, or when you can go to bed without complaint, you would always pose a gentle question about whether it was just, whether it made sense, and wanted to know the reasoning behind it. I encourage you to always continue to question and to search for answers. What we have called your daydreaming has always led to the most incredible and innovative ideas like blue through and, and ways of seeing the, idea, the world. I encourage you to follow your questions and your ideas to continue to think in your own unique ways while being inspired by and learning from others, but to never accept the status quo just because others do. The Jewish value that spoke to me perhaps the most was the idea that Jews are called to the task of tikkun olam, to repair the world. For me, although I had to wander a bit to figure out the best way to do it, I knew that I wanted to find a path that allowed me to help people who'd been through hard things, and my work has brought me great joy. I suspect that your drive might come from figuring out how to use some of your many talents and interests to also help people. You've always been driven by your intellectual curiosity and your interest and skills in areas like technology, videos, writing, and robotics. This is wonderful. I challenge you to use your skills to ask, how can I make this situation better? How can I use my position or my talents or my passions to help others? I don't expect you to take my path and become a social worker. I expect you to find a path that brings you joy and to always be asking how to use your situation to help others. Your task as a Jew is to repair the world. My challenge to you is to figure out what your superpowers are and use them to make the world a better place. The final thing that I want to convey to you is that Judaism shows us that finding your meaning in life and living a beautiful life cannot be done in isolation. It is in relationships and connections to others that you truly find yourself and find joy. I think you know this in your soul. I know that you are very content to be alone in your room, exploring new ideas, writing scripts and making videos, but that you also find relief and comfort and joy in coming out and connecting with your family in real life. And that even now you are craving being back in school and seeing your friends and teachers. It is through relationships and indeed love that we learn about each other, about ourselves, that we heal and that we are able to hope and believe in a better world. Those are my hopes for you, Henry. I chose Judaism because even before I met you, I knew that it would help me teach those values to my future children. I hope that you continue to be yourself in all the ways that make you the beautiful, beautiful human you are. And to remember to question, to be kind and thoughtful, to use your skills to repair the world and to place great values on your relationships and connections to others. I love you. This is good timing because in a week you're going to be taller than me and you probably won't take any more advice from me. When you started talking, you invented a word that you used whenever you didn't know the actual word, waji. You filled it in seamlessly into any sentence. Daddy, can we go to the waji to have ice cream with waji on top? But over time, you filled in the wajis with the right word. Well, there are many wajis in life. It's important to keep filling them in which is a key tenet of Judaism, although I don't believe the Torah words it quite that way. You have an insatiable curiosity and an endless desire to keep learning. One of my favorite parts of every week is when you inevitably come to us with glowing eyes and a burst of energy about some new discovery. You have opened up new worlds to the family, and I'm not just talking about Minecraft worlds, but also new passions to explore and new ways of looking at the world. I remember when you were nine, mom called me while I was out of town and said that you somehow found the professional editing software on my computer, figured out how to input footage, edit it, add music, and add slow motion effects all by yourself. I got off the phone amazed and thought, it took me a week to learn how to do slow motion. Keep learning and growing, but remember that while technology will give you unlimited information at your fingertips, how you handle that information is key. Listen to opposing views. Give them the benefit of the doubt. There will be shiny pieces of information that may entice you with easy answers, but lasting knowledge, for that you'll have to dig. And like the videos you create, it will need to be pieced together thoughtfully and carefully. When you were a toddler, we had to buy a jungle gym for the living room of our Studio City condo to prevent you from climbing the walls. 
I've seen you jump from that jungle gym. I've seen you jump from walls in parkour class. I've seen you leap from the upper deck of a boat off the coast of Hawaii, and I've seen you leap from the second level of a mega yacht into the Mediterranean. Well, I'm here to tell you to keep, keep taking leaps in life. I greatly admire your fearlessness, and it rubs off on the whole family. I didn't want to jump off that boat in Hawaii, but I saw you standing on the ledge, overcoming your fear, a steely resolve in your eyes, and you just jumped, and I knew I had to do it myself. It's not just physical leaps, but your creative and moral courage. You're always experimenting with your projects and never resting on what you've done before. You aren't afraid to express your thoughtful opinions. So don't stop being courageous. One of the reasons I had to read Diary of Anne Frank is because despite the world pushing against her principles, she held to them, writing, I keep my ideals because in spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. Trust yourself to take chances, as that is sometimes the best way to know how far you can go. The worst that happens is you fall, but you will heal, and you'll be stronger, smarter, and more brave for the next time. One more thought. Life is sometimes analogized to a train ride heading toward a series of stations. There's an urge to focus on those upcoming stations. When I get to this station, I'll be happy. When I get to that station, I'll have made it. But life is not the stations. Life is the train ride. Henry David Thoreau, who you were partly named after, wrote that you must live in the present, launch yourself on every wave, find your eternity in each moment. One of your greatest traits is your ability to be in the moment and appreciate it. I remember all the times in the middle of a family adventure you just simply walked up to me and hugged me and said thank you with pure gratitude on your face. It made my heart melt every time. So I don't want you to focus on the stations and miss your ride because I'm certain your ride will be filled with love, joy, passion, top of line graphics cards, black diamond moguls, and salmon sushi that melts in your mouth. You know what I'm talking about. We cannot be more proud of the person you are and the man you are becoming. Kind, hardworking, grateful, generous, a conscientious older brother, and a determined, principled young man. To borrow a line from an Elton John song, I love you more than life itself. We just wanted to say a special thank you to Rabbi Farkas, who'd been, who's been an important teacher to Henry throughout all of his years in Hebrew school for leading today's service and working with Henry to prepare and to Cantor Baron for joining him with that beautiful voice that stirs our souls. We'd also like to thank Henry's tutor, Asher Levy, for helping him to prepare and to Cantor Toby Schwartz for her coordination and help preparing all of us for today. Um, Orit Rappaport, thank you for making all of the pieces come together here at VBS this morning. And to Carrie Leventhal, the director of VBS's Etz Chaim Learning Center, which Henry has attended since he was four years old for a fantastic Jewish education and to all of Henry's teachers here at VBS whom we hold dear. Thank you to our parents, to my mother who braved leaving the house to be here today and to Richard and Diane for driving 3000 miles during a pandemic. Henry, your grandparents all truly adore you. Thank you to Elliot for being a loving little brother to Henry and for putting up with all of the extra stress and reduced attention from the rest of us in the house, especially this past week. To our friends and family who are able to be here today, seeing your masked faces fills us with so much joy. And to our friends and family who are joining via Zoom, we hope that you will, uh, we will be able to be together soon, but it means so much that you are with us today. Henry, give your parents a hug. It's okay. <laughs> I 
want to wish them a mazel tov on uh, Henry, mazel tov on your bar mitzvah. It's a beautiful talit. And uh, we're going to continue with the barachu now, which is on page 107. If you're able to ask you, please, to rise. Barachu. Adonai am Baruch le'olam ba'ed. Baruch Adonai am Baruch le'olam ba'ed. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam yotzer or oberei choshech oseh shalom oberei etakun. You may be seated. We continue the bottom of page 107. Ein ker ke karona yelo hino baula maze, ve ein zolat ho malkeinu, de chaye haula maba. Efes pilte ha goleinu, limota mashiach, ve ein do melecha moshienu, litriata metim. El adone al kol hama asim, parohum vora. Shasita <laughs> Bashira <laughs> Bisafavu Ravini Makedo Shah, Kulam Kekaroni Biomerim Vahira, Kadosh Kadosh Kadosh, Sharonai Sivahot, Melo Kola Ratskevodu, Belfanim Vikayuda Kurish, Berash Kanol, Mitnasim Liamat Sarafim, Liamata Meshamahim Vayomerim, Baruke Boradonai Minko. Baruch Nimotitino. 
Ahava Rabba of Chatu. We're on page 111. Israel. <laughs> Amen. We turn to page 112 where we gather the four corners of our tzitzit together as Henry leads us in the words of Shema Yisrael. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Ve'chol avavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol me'odecha Behayu Hadverim Haele Asher Anohi Metzavecha Hayom Aleva Vecha Vishinantam Levanecha Vedibar Tabam Veshiv Techa Bebe Techa Uvlev Techa Vaderach Uvshach Techa Uvekumecha Uksar Tam Leot Alia Decha Behayu Totafot Bene Necha Uktav Tam Al Mezuzot Betecha Leman tis keru, vaashi temet kol mitzvotai, vihi tem kadoshim, velo hechem, ani, aronai alechem, asher, o te tietchem, me eretz mitraim, leot lachem, lelohim, ani, aronai alechem, aronai alechem. We're on the bottom of page 113 and the top of page 114. Lidor vador hu kayam u shmo kayam vakiso nachon o malchuto vemonato lad kayamet. O denu matileno me ulam shemecha en elohim zulatecha ezrata buteno atamon.
שהילות אל עליון, ברוך ומבורך, משה בני ישראל לכאנו שירה, ושמחה רבה ויאמרו כולם, מי כמוך, באלים אדוני, מי כמוך, נהדר בקודש, נורות תהילות, או ספר. שירו הראשו שיבחו גאולים לשמך על שפת הים, יחד כולם עודו והמליכו, ויאמרו, אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד. צור ישראל, קומה בעזרת ישראל, ובדחינו מך. יהודה וישראל, גו עלינו, אדוני צבאות שמו, קדוש ישראל, ברוך אתה אדוני, יעל ישראל. We rise together on page 115b, while Henry leads us in the opening prayers of the Amida. ברוך אתה אדוני, Eloheinu, velohei avoteinu. Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzhak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, velohei Leah. Ha el hagadol hagibor vehanoram. El el yom gomel hasadim tovim vekone hakol vezoker hasei havo. ומי ויגו אל לבני בניהם, למען שמו באהבה. מלך עוזר ומושיע ומגן, ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם ופוקד שרה. אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני, מחיי מתים אתה, רב לך הושיע. משיבה רוח ומורים הגה השם, מחלקל חיים ופסל. מחיי מתים ברחמים רבים, סומך נופלים ורופאי חולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמנתו, ושני אחר מחמוך באות יגורו, ומדומך. מלך מימין ומחיה ומצמיע ישוע ונאמן אתה לך חיו מתים ברוך אתה אדוני מחיי המתים. נקדש את שמך בעולם ושם שמתישים אותו בשמי מרום ככתוב היד ויחו וקרא זה אל זה ואמר קדוש 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 אדוני צבאות מלוך לארץ כבודו אז בקול רעש גדול אדיר וחזק משמיעים קול מתנשאים ליום הצרפים ליום הצום ברוך יום ברוך עבור אדוני ממקומו. ממקום מחם מלכנו, מלכנו צופיה, וצים לוח עלינו, כי מרקים אנחנו לך. ממקום מחם מלכנו, מלכנו צופיה, וצ'ים אלוך עלינו, כי מרקים אנחנו לך. מתי, מתי תמלוך, תמלוך אל ציון? מתי, מתי תמלוך, תמלוך בציון? בקרוב בימינו, בקרוב בימינו, לעולם מבעד שישכון, 
בקרוב ימינו, בקרוב ימינו, לעולם בה תשכון. תתגדל ותתקדש, תתגדל ותתקדש, לצוף ירושלים, ירושלים נרחב. לדור ודור, לדור ודור, ולנצח נצחים. לדור ודור, לדור ודור, ולנצח נצחים. ועינינו תראינה מלכותך. על ידי דוד משיח צדקך, אם לא חרוני לעולם, אלוהי ציון, לדור ודור, הללויה. לדור ודור נגיד גודלך, ולנצח נצח עם קדושת הנקדיש, ושפחך אלוהינו מפינו לא ימוש לעולם ועד, כי אל מלא גדול וקדוש אתה, ברוך אתה אדוני האל. Take a moment now on page 117 and following a few moments of private prayer and reflection, conclusion of which you may be seated. Conclusion of your prayers, you may be seated. We turn to page 138 for Kadishalim. יתקדם וקדש מרבה, ועל מה דברה חירותי וים נכמל חוטי, וחיי חון ומיומי חון וחי חול מת ישראל, בגלה ובזמן קריבה אמרו, יהי שמי רבה ומורך, ועלם אל עולמי הלוויה, יתברך, יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ותשומם ינשא, אביר הדור ויתעלה ולעוד שמי נקודשו, בריחו לילה מן כל ברד ושירתה, תוש פחדה ונחמתה, דם ירם ימה ואימרו, תיקבל צולות הון ועוד הון לכל ישראל, כה דם אבו נמשמי ואימרו, יהי שלמה רבה מן שמי וחיים, עלינו ואל כל ישראל ואימרו, עושה שלום עם רומיו, ויעשה שלום עלינו. ויעל כל ישראל והם אמרו, אמן. And friends, we're about to move into the Torah service, so if you would like, you can close your blue seat door, and we're going to take out the red kumash, which are those over there. We're going to begin that in just a moment as we turn to page 139. And as Tanner Barron, as you begin the Torah service, we're going to ask everyone to please rise as we take out the Sefer Torah. אין כמוך אלוהים אדוני ואין כמעשיך מלכותך מלכות כל עולמים וממשלתך בכל דור ודור אדוני מלך אדוני מלך אדוני מלוך Adonai oz le'amo yitain, Adonai v'harech et amo v'shalom. Al-harakami, et yim avirtu.
life, he never actually acquired any portion of the land of Israel up until this moment. So we have all of these things that Abraham expected from his life, and he has none of them. He has no land that's totally his. He has no wife or partner that's his. And his family, his son, his only son, the one that he brought to uh, Mount Moriah, thank you, um, is also gone. And yet this Torah portion says he was old in his days and God blessed him in all things. This is not the Hollywood ending, which is why I love the Torah, because it doesn't mean to give us Hollywood endings. It's, it's not the Disneyland Torah. It's the real life Torah. And so there has to be something deeper as to what it is that God has blessed Abraham with in that moment. And I think that comes at the end of this Torah portion. So just stay with me for the rest of the story. At this moment, when God says that Abraham has blessed him with all things, it's that moment that Abraham stands up and acquires that field and that cave. It's that moment that he uh, helps secure a partner for his family, for his son. And it's at that moment that he seems to take action in a way that he's never really taken action before. He becomes not just reactive, but proactive. You see, up until this moment, God had told him to do all of these things, and he kind of went along with it, but was waiting and waiting and waiting for the best possible life to actually show up. And what do we know about people who just wait for life to happen to them? The best parts of life tend to never happen. And that's what happened to Abraham. And that's a, what I call living under the aspect of destiny. If you think it's your destiny to become wealthy, your destiny to have a wonderful family, your destiny to be happy, and you do nothing to pursue that destiny, you do nothing to own that, to have agency over that, nothing to shape your own future, then you will not have any of those things that you think you're destined to have. That is because destiny itself takes agency away from the person, each one of us in life. We think that it's owed to us, we're entitled to it, and that it should just come to us without any hard work. And Abraham believed he had a destiny. And here at this moment, when he was blessed with all things, he realized his destiny was never going to happen. So then what did he do? He took his destiny into his own hands and shifted from living from a place of destiny to a place of legacy. Legacies are not entitled. They are crafted and created and built by each and every one of us. And so the first thing that he did was to actually acquire the land that he thought was just going to be given to him. And in doing so, he actually took ownership over that promise that God gave him. And then he tried to secure a partner for his son, not because he was just being paternalistic, but because the destiny of becoming the father of all nations was not going to happen unless he actually did something about it. So he had to create a family because he didn't think finally that a family and a beautiful, pleasant, flourishing life wasn't just going to happen to him. He had to create it. And so that to me is the gift of being blessed. Being blessed to me is a transitive thing. It's something that you can bless other people and you can become blessed by people, but to become a blessing itself, part of who you are, you have to own your legacy and give up on your destiny. You have to let go of the things that you think that you are entitled to, and you have to work for the things you believe in. And that finally, at 137 year old, Abraham figured it out. And thank God it took him that long, because now we can stand here today, and at 13 years old, or at 40 something years old, or whatever old you are, you can own your own legacy. And to me, that is the special part of Chaye Sarah, is that it lets go of the idea that we have no control over our lives, control over our future, that we are just gifted or granted what's in front of us, 
and gives us the strength and the blessing to pursue that by moving from destiny to legacy. And that's what we're going to meditate on today and learn today. And so we have a wonderful uh, aliyot that we're calling up. Um, we're going to begin on page 127, if you are in the red humash. And uh, Henry is going to read for us. We have two aliyot plus a maftir, special aliyah for his bar mitzvah. And so for the first aliyah, we do call forward Scott and Jane to the Torah. If Elliot would like to come, I'm sure he's welcome to come as well. As we begin our Torah reading this morning. The Yazor, we again be a shell of Horaho symbol, and no maramain. A coal, have a good little henu utnu havod, la Torah Yam do Aria Lev ben Mordechai Vesara, Vesim Chabat Avraham Vesara, Rishonim Baruch Shanatan Torah, Leam Israel Big Du Chateau, Veatem Amekim Baron Elohechem. Chaim Kulchem Hayom. Okay, so Scott, just like we did on Thursday, take that little corner of your talit and touch it to the beginning of the Torah. And you can read. Perfect. And then you could say the blessing. Baruch Adonai Hambarach. Baruch Adonai Hambarach. Baruch Adonai Amen. Right into the mic. The Hiyu Haye Sara Meachana the Esrim Shana Vesheva Chanim Shene Haye Sara. The Tamot Sara, the Kiryat Arba, Kiv Havron, the Eretz Kanaan, Vayavo Avraham, is put less Sara, believe Kota, Vayakom Avraham, me Alpene Mito, Vayadaber Alpene Het, Lemor, Yervashab Anochi, Imachem, Tanu, Li, Ahuzat Kever, Imachem, Vayakvera Meti, Mielfana. Baruch <laughs> We call Diane and Richard. Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai Baruch Baruch Adonai you know the mic, Henry. Yeah, do it over again. Vaya anu benahet et avraham le more low. Shema Enu Adoni Nesi Elohim Ata Betochenu Hera Kevorenu Kevor Et Metecha Ishmi Menu Et Kevro Yoli Chlemi Mecha Kevor Metecha Vayakom Avraham Vayikvera Meti Liv Amen. 
Ukirotam, the Ne Asar Nesiim, Le Umotam, Ve Ele, Sherne, Haye Yismael, Meat Shana, Ve Estrim Shana, Ve Shevatim, Vaikva, Vayamot, Vaye Ase, Al Amav, Vaish Kenu, Metavila, Ajur, Asher, Al Pene Mitraim, Rawahav Ashura of the Nepo Ahab Napa. Amen. Dr. Goff, Mazel Tov, you had your Aliyah. We're going to honorarily call for Hagba and Galila at this time. Yamdu Hamagbia Vihagole. We ask to stand in their place, please, Paul and Jared, uh, Paul Schrader and, and Gerard Kerensky, so that we can honor you with having honorary Hagba and Galila because we can't actually have you come and hold the Torah. So um, Please, and have the rest of the congregation now please rise at this time as we lift and bind the Sefer Torah. V'zot ha-Torah asher sa-Moshe lifnei b'nei Yisrael al-pi Adonai v'yad Moshe Yisrael v'oraita d'kudusha b'richu anhu Yisrael ve'oraita Kudosh ha'berichu chadu Torah ora, Torah ora, Hallelujah Torah ora, Torah ora, Hallelujah Torah ora, Torah ora Hallelujah. Torah ora, Torah ora, Hallelujah. Uvenu ho yomar. You're doing haka, huh? Okay, all right. You may yeah. be seated. Henry's Hakara is found on in the uh, in the red humash on page um it's not listed here interesting is it page 144 i believe yes i believe it is yes, yeah, right. page 144. 144 sorry about that uh but he has a few words of torah he'd like to share right into the mic my friend right into the mic
we start uh, oh, in in my Torah portion. Hayes, my Torah portion Hayes Sarah is a very meaningful one. We start the story by finding out that Sarah has recently died. Abraham then goes to negotiate a burial ground for her. What's interesting is that the owner of the land wants to sell the plot for free, but Abraham refuses, saying that he wants to pay for it. In the end, a a Abraham pays for the plot and buries Sarah there. Sometime later, Abraham sees that Isaac is ready to be married and sends one of the servants to go out and search among the extended family in a place called Haran. Abraham states that the angels will guide the servant and show him the perfect spouse for Isaac through an act of kindness. After a long time of traveling, the servant arrives at a well, and he asks a woman to help him get some water. The woman, named Rebecca, agrees and not only gets water for him, but also all of his camels. The servant sees this as a sign of kindness and asks if she would come with him and be Isaac's wife. Rebecca agrees and comes back to the encampment and meets Isaac. Then they get married. What I find most interesting about the story is that it was kindness that became the number one thing Abraham and the servant were looking for. The reason I find this interesting is that there are many attributes that make up a person. Wealth, heritage, look, intellect. However, Abraham and the servant seem to agree that kindness is the most important. Perhaps I thought kindness was so important because in some ways it's the hardest thing to be. Think about it. It's easy to be selfish. There's only one person that you have to worry about, yourself. If you're kind, you also have to be thinking about other people and what their needs might be. The rabbis teach that there are several different kinds of people. Those that are selfish are considered like those that lived in the ancient city Saddam that God destroyed earlier in the Torah. On the other hand, they teach that when someone is deeply kind, they're considered a chassid or a saint because they're willing to live with loving kindness. It's really hard to be a saint and no one can really be kind all of the time. But those that do are the ones that make the most impact on the world around them. Back in our story, what Abraham the servant were looking for was not a saint, but someone who, when given the option, would do the right thing simply because it's the right thing to do. Rebecca, as you now know, gave water not only to the servant, but to the camels too. It was her kindness more than anything that was a sign for the servant. In life, some of the hardest things in the world are truly their most important. Kindness is no exception. We know that it's hard to be kind, and we know that kindness is the, is the thing that wins the day in my Torah portion. That's because kindness is what creates community. If we only thought of ourselves and didn't think about anyone around us, then we'd stay cooped up in our houses with no one to talk to and no friends to invite over, kind of like now. Because without kindness, we'd all live on our own separate islands. And while that may sound great to some, in truth, loneliness leads to depression and anxiety. By nature, we want to be with other people. We need it, actually. Being selfish closes doors and opportunities to be a better person and live a more meaningful life. The cure to loneliness is kindness. By sharing ourselves with others, by caring about others, we want nothing from them. By just giving someone a smile, we make our own lives better. Back in my Torah portion, Rebecca gave the camels water, not because she was going to get any monetary or physical benefit, but rather a spiritual and mental one. She was a better person for it, and in that betterment, the servant saw that she was the right kind of person to be part of the family. Kindness, then, is not just how you treat others, but who you are on the inside. I remember in the second grade, a kid I knew broke his arm falling, falling off a skateboard. It turns out that because his arm was broken, he couldn't do all the normal things that kids do, like playing sports, writing homework, or even carrying his bag. I decided that I was going to help him with some of the stuff. On the playground, he was left out of it because he couldn't play sports, so I would walk around the playground with him during recess. Just little things like that. Over time, we became friends and are still friends to this day. What I learned from this is that being kind opened up new doors for me. It's not just the right thing to do, but it actually helped me make new friends. For me, becoming a bar mitzvah means transitioning into a new era of my religious life. As I grow and learn new things, I take on a greater responsibility for myself and the world around me. The psalmist says, a world of loving kindness we shall build. Throughout my years of religious school, I've learned that the main teachings and interpretations of those teachings all boil down to kindness. The world is ours to build, and being kind is not only what, our what brought our mother Rebecca into the family, but we can use her teachings to build a world of loving kindness for all people. As my act of kindness, I decided to, I decided to help people that, that have been affected by the coronavirus. I recently started to go fund me and I'm raising money and getting in contact with some families that might need our help. I encourage every single one of you to do something uh, kind of like this, especially during the pandemic. Kindness creates community, beginning with ourselves and extending to our families and indeed the whole world. And with that, I'd like to thank Cantor Baron for being the Cantor for my, for my bar mitzvah, Asher for helping me the past few months with my prayers, Rabbi Farkas for helping me with my speech and being the rabbi for my bar mitzvah, Ami for supporting me during my Hebrew school years, and to Toby for helping me and letting me have the Torah in my house to practice. I'd like to thank my grandparents for coming out here all the way from Connecticut, my brother Elliot for always being there for me. And last but certainly not least, my parents for supporting me unconditionally and being the best role models and parents anyone can ask for. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. 
Asher Bachar Benevim Tovim Beratza Vedivrahem Hane Amarim Bemet Baruchata Adonai Habacher Batora Vemoshe Avdo Uvi Israel Amo Uvin Vieha Emet Vat Sedek Batavo Vat Sheva El Hamelech Hahadra Behamelech Saken Meod Baavishag Hashunamit Mesharet et Hamelech Batikod Bat Sheva Batishtahu La Melech Vayomer Hamelech Mala Batomer Lo Adoni Atanish Bata Badonai Elohecha La Amatecha Kishel Movene Imloch Aharai Behu Yeshev Al Kisim Beata Ine Adonia Mala Beata Adoni Hamelech Lo Yadata Vaisba Shorm Rivatzon Laro Vaikra Aho Bene Hamelech Leviatar Hakohen Ulio Av Tsar Hazava Beli Shlomo Av Decha Lokara Veata Adoni Hamelech Enecho Yisrael Lelecha Hagid Lahem Mi Yeshev Alki Seyotoni Hamelech Aharav Behaya Kishkav Adoni Hamelech Im Havotav Behaiti Ani Uvni Shalomo Hataim Vehine Odena Medaberet Im Hamelech Benatanavi Ba Vayagidula Melech Lemor Hine Natan Hanavi Vatavo Lifne Hamelech Vaishtahu La Melech Alapav Artsa Vayomer Natan Adoni Hamelech Ata Amarta Adoniahu Imlocha Harai Vehu Yeshev Alkisim Ki Yarad Hayom Vaisba Shorm Rivatzon Laro Vaikra the Hobene Hamelch Utsare Hatava Uleviatar Hakohen Vehina Ochim Shevotim Lefanav Vayomeru Yehi Hamelch Adoni Yahu Veliani of Decha Utsadok Hakohen Velivna Yahu Benyo Yada Velishlomo of Decha Lokara Im Meet Adoni Hamelch Nia Hadavar Haze Velo Hodata et Avdecha Mi Yeshev Aki Seatuni Hamelech Aharav Vaya an Hamelech David Vayomer Kiruli Levat Shava Vatavo Livne Hamelech Vaish Vita Amod Livne Hamelech Vaishva Hamelech Vayomer Hayadonai Asher Pada et Nafshim Ikot Sara Ki Ka Asher Nishpati La Badonai Elohe Israel Lemor Kishamo Bene Mlocha Harai Vehu Esheva Kisim Taftai Ki Ken E Ase Hayom Haze Batikod Batsheva Apaim Eretz Batishtahu La Melech Vayomer Yehi Adoni Amelech David Leolam Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Tzorkol Aholamim Tzadik Behol Hadorot Ha'el Hane'eman Ha'omer Ve'ose Ha'medaber Umekayim Shekol Devarav Emet Vatsedek Ne'eman Atahu Adonai Eloheinu Ne'emanim Devarecha Ve'devar Achad Midvarecha Achor Lo Yashuv Rekam Ki Amelech Ne'eman Berachaman Ata Baruch Ata Adonai Ha'el Hane'eman Bechol Devarav Rachem Al Tzion Ki Hibet Ha'enu Vela Aluvat Nefesh Toshia Limchera Ve'amenu Baruch Ata Adonai Mesameach Tzion Bevanecha Samcheinu Adonai Eloheinu Veliyahu Hanavi Avdecha, Zmalhut Beit David, Mesichecha, Vimcheraya Vo, 
Veagel Livenu, Alki Solo Yeshev Zar, Velo Imchelu, Od Achlim et Kevodo, Kiveshe, Kidshecha, Ishbatalo, Shelo Ishbenero, Leolam Vaer, Baruch Ata Adonai, Megan David. Al Hatora, the Al Havoda, the Al Hanevim, the Al Yom Hashabat Haze, Shenatatalanu, Adonai Eloheinu, the Lik Dusha, the Lim Ducha, Lechavod, Ultif Aretz, Al Hakol, Adonai Eloheinu, Anach Numodim La, Umvarhut Ota, Yit Barashimcha Befiko Hai, Tamid. Leolam Vaed Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh Hashabat Uh, Henry, you can sit down for just one second. We're going to call on some of your relatives to give us special prayers this morning. Um, we want to call on Andrew Holiday to come up and read a prayer for our country on page 148. Our God and God of our ancestors, we ask your blessings for our country, for its government, for its leaders and advisors, and for all who exercise just and rightful authority. Teach them insights from your Torah that they may administer all affairs of state fairly, that peace and security, happiness and prosperity, justice and freedom may forever abide in our midst. Creator of all flesh, bless all the inhabitants of our country with your spirit. May citizens of all races and creeds forge a common bond in true harmony to banish hatred and bigotry, and to safeguard the ideals and free institutions that are the pride and glory of our country. May this land under your providence be an influence for good throughout the world, uniting all people in peace and freedom, helping them to, to fulfill the vision of your prophet. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they experience war anymore. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Andrew. We now call on Adi Barash to come forward and pray for our second homeland, the land of the state of Israel. Page 149. Avinu Shabashamain, Sur Israel Vigolo, Barech at Medinat Israel, Reshit Michat Golatenu, Agena Lea Bevrat Hasbecha, Uprosalea Sukat Lomcha, Ushlach or Hava Mithale Rashea, Sarea Vyoatea, Betaknam Beetato Vamil Panecha. חזק את ידי מגיני ארץ קדשנו, והנחילה מלואנו ישועה, ועטרת ניצחון תעטרם, ונתת שלום בארץ, ושימחת עולם ליושביה, ונאמר אמן. 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 So friends here gathered today, and also those who are with us on Zoom, if there's anyone in your family or circle of friends who is ailing or suffering or experiencing uh, uh, illness in any way, physically or mentally, uh, please, you can include their names as we pray the Misha Berach prayer together. May the source of strength 
Oh, bless the ones before us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Mi shebeirach imoteinu mekor habrachal lehavoteinu Bless those in need of healing with refuah shlema the renewal of body the renewal of spirit and let us say amen amen we turn back i invite you now to, to place the red humashim back on the table over here and you can take up those blue cedarim as Henry will lead us in the words of Ashrei, the beginning of our closing prayers on page 151. 151. Ashrei Yoshvei Vitecha, Odia Halilu Hasela, Ashrei Ha'am Shekacha Tehila le David, Aramimcha el Chacha Melech, but of our Hashim Haleolam, but the Hoyoma Barcheka, Vahalashim Haleolam, but the Dorna Umhalal Mayod, Valig Dolato in Hacker, Dorlado Yishabach Maasecha, Uguro Techa Yagidu, a dark about Hodecha, but Ivrani Flotecha Asicha, the Zuzno Rotecha Yomeru, Ugdulatra Asaprena. Zacharav to Hayabiu, the Tid Katacha Yeranenu, Hanun Brahumano Nai, Erechapayim Udo Hasid, Tobanai Le Kol, or Hamav Hal Koma Asa, Yoduha Arunai Koma Asecha, Bahasi Decha Yevarhuha, Kabod Mahut Hayo Meru, Ugrotecha Yeda Veru, Lehodia Livne Hadam Gurota, Ugrotha Dar Malhuto, Malhutha Malhut Ko Olamim. Umem shaltaha bechol dor vador. So me haronai lechol hanoflim, bezokef lechol hakavuthim. Eine chole lecha yesaberu, veata notein lehem et ochlam beito. Oteach et yadecha, umaspia lechol chai ratzon. Tadik haronai lechol derachav, veasid bechol maasav. Karob haronai lechol korav, lechol asher yigrahu veemet. Ratzon yer avya ase, ve et shavatam yishma ve oshiem. Shomer adonai et kol oham vav, ve et kol harshaim yashmin. Tehilat adonai daber, pi vivarech kol basar, shin kachok leilam ba'ed. Anachnu nevarech yam et avyarulam. Hallelujah. And just before we put the tour away, we ask, the uh, family friend of uh, Jane and Scott, Susan, to please come forward and special reading from Anne Frank. Henry, some wise words on the occasion of your bar mitzvah from another Jewish teenager, Anne Frank. How wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. There's only one rule you need to remember laugh at everything and forget everybody else. It sounds egotistical, but it's actually the only cure for those suffering from self-pity. I found that there is always some beauty left in nature, sunshine, freedom, in yourself. These can all help you. Look at these things, then you can find yourself again and God, and then you regain your balance. And finally, although I'm only 14, I know quite well what I want. I know who is right and who is wrong. I have my opinions, my own ideas and principles. And although it may sound pretty mad from an adolescent, I feel more of a person than a child. I feel quite independent of anyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. We rise together as we return the Sefer Torah to the Ark. Henry. Yeah, hallelujah, shame Adonai, ki O do haleres, v'sham mahayim, 
Vajarem keren liyamu Tehillal lechul chasidam Lehivne Yisrael am kerovu Halleluja, halleluja Uvenucho yomar Etzhaim hi Lamaha <laughs> Please be seated. Yit kadal vikadasha me raba behalma divra kinu tevi amnik malchute bechayechon uv yomechon vchedchol beit Yisrael bagalav vizman kari vahimro yehesh me raba me borach le alam alal me alma ya yit borach. Yit parak vishtavak vit par vitroman vit nase avir hadar vitalev vitalom shemei de kudusho leila uleila leila min kol birkada vishirata tush birkada benechemata damiram biyama vahimro tika bal tzolot hon avon hon dechon yisrael ko dam avon imishmai vahimro yehi shlom araba min shemai vechayim aleinu bel kol yisrael vahimro. Shalom bim Shalom Israel Shalom 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 Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. We rise together on page 183 for Aleinu. Aleinu l'shaveach l'adon hakol, l'atet gedulah l'yotze b'reshit, sh'lo asanu k'goyei ha'aratzot, v'lo samanu g'mish mechot ha'adama, sh'lo sam chelkeinu k'ahem, v'gohor aleinu, Kehol hamonam, va anach nu kovim, umishtahavim, umodim, lif name edek, malke ham lachim, a kadosh baru, u shelnateshamay besavay. Agatu vedoratecha, Adonaim loch leolam vahed, Venemar, Vehaya Adonai, Lemelech al kul haoretz, Bayom hahu, Bayom hahu, Ye Adonai echad, O Shamo, O Shamo. You may be seated. At the end of every service, we take just a moment to remember those who are no longer with us, grateful for the gift of their lives and the teachings that they embodied and given over to us. If there is anyone here or on Zoom out there in the in vir watching virtually who has experienced a loss and would like to say mourners Kaddish, whether it's because you're in mourning because you're observing a yard site anniversary of the death, I ask you to please rise at this time and turn to page 184 and join me in Mourner's Kaddish. Yitgadal bi yikadash shemei rabah. Ve'yomal divrach yirotei ve'yomich machutei. 
בחיי חון וביום חון ובחיי דחו בית ישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קרי ואמרו אמן. יהי שמי רבא מבורך לעולם עומי עמיה. יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרמם ויתנשא. ויתדר ויתעלה ויתעלה על שמי ליכוד שבריכו. ואילם ינקו ברכת ושירת תושבחת ונחמת. ואמירן בימה ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבא מן שמיה. חיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרמז. הוא יעשה שלום. עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. May you find comfort in your friends and family the world over. And together we say, Amen. Mazel tov, Henry. I saw that big smile on your face when you got everyone's eye, when you got to the end. It was like this weight just lifted from your shoulders. So I hope you're feeling so good. Mazel tov to Jane and to Scott on the bar mitzvah of your wonderful boy. And to all the guests who are here, congratulations. Mazel tov, wonderful for you to join us this morning. Henry, I have a series of gifts for you, including a Kiddush cup, a uh, tzedakah box, a couple of books, including one by Rabbi Feinstein, a certificate of your bar mitzvah. But the real gift that I wanna give you today is to look out at your friends and your family and realize that what this virus has done, it's just kept us from being together whether it's together to study, to pray, to have fun together, to do good works together. That is what the goal of this virus has been for us. But gathering together today to celebrate your bar mitzvah is the greatest gift because what it says is no matter how bad this virus is, we can still beat it by finding ways of being together, which is what we are. We have a community that just refuses to quit a spiritual and religious basis that refuses to quit and a kid in you who refuses to quit. And that to me is the greatest gift of all. So my blessing for you, Henry, is to remember what it means to be blessed, which means to take charge of your future, to craft your legacy. And as you said, to find kindness in people and use that as the way to evaluate who will be your friends, who will be your associates, who will be your colleagues, and who ultimately the person maybe you'll find to form a family with. And so my blessing for you is to be like Abraham who refused to quit, and to be like Eliezer who fought, sought kindness, and to be like Rebecca and to embody kindness. And so this is my blessing for you. I ask the congregation to please rise so I can give him a blessing. Um, Jane, Scott, Elliot, you guys can come right around him. I know you guys are living together, so you can give him a big hug. Put your hand on his head for me, because I can't do that. May you be blessed like the great ones of our people. May God bless you and keep you. May God's light and grace always shine down upon you. May God's grace and confidence fall upon you to show you the way forward, a path towards kindness, a path towards blessing, and a path towards peace. Together we say amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam she'achiyanu v'kiyamanu v'higiyanu v'azman hazeh. Praise to you, God, who has given us life and our days and has established us to pour our life into you so that you may become one of our people. And together we say, Amen. Simen tavu, mazel tavu, mazel tavu, and simen tov. Simen tavu, mazel tavu, mazel tavu, and simen tov. Simen tavu, mazel tavu, mazel tavu, and simen tov. Yehlanu, 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 u'v'chol Yisrael. There should be a cup of juice or wine. We'll find out after you take a sip which one it is. 
you lead us in the Kiddush and the Hamoti, and then we'll invite the family as we close to retire back to the soccer field where we have some food and refreshments for everyone. With Shamri, yes. The Shamru, the Israel, et Hashabat, La Asu, et Hashabat, Le Dorotam Berit Olam. The Shamru, the Israel, et Hashabat, La Asu, et Hashabat, Le Dorotam Berit Olam. Bene Uvain Bene Israel, O T Leolam, O T Leolam, O T Leolam. Beshamru Bene Israel, Ed Hashabat, La Asot Ed Hashabat, Ledorotam Berito Lam. Kishesh at Yamim, Yamim, Kishesh at Yamim. Yasa Adonai, Yasa Adonai, et Hashamayim, vet ha aret. Veshamru v'nei Yisrael, et Hashabat, la'asot et Hashabat, v'dorotam v'rit olam. Vayom hashvi'i, Shabbat v'inafa, Shabbat v'inafa, Shabbat the Shamru, the Nay Israel, Et Hashabat, La Sot, Et Hashabat, the Doro Tamberito. I'll cane Barach Adon, I'll cane Barach Adonai, Et Yom Hashabat, Vayikad Shehu, Sa. Very Garavotai, Garavotai, I am Baruchata Donai Elohinu Melachalam, Bore Parihaza. Amen. Take a sip. I think I think take another sip, take another sip, a big one, like a big sip. That's wine. Take another sip, then. Take another sip. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam ha-motzi lechem inaretz. Amen. Mazel tov. I don't know lam asher mala b'terem kol yitzir nivra liyet nasa v'chem sokot azayim elek shemo nikra be'achare kilot hakol levado yimlot nora v'hu haya v'hu hove v'hu yihe Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Everyone turn and look at the camera and wave to everyone on Zoom. Wish them a Shabbat Shalom. Mazel tov to Henry and his family. On the soccer field, you will find a table with your name on it. I ask you to please go sit there so that we'll be able to serve you your pre-ordered lunch. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Have a wonderful day.